In other news today, the USSR's new leader, Leonid Brezhnev, has started a new and disturbing process of re-Stalinization. Strikes of the late dictator have been seen in recent Brezhnev policies, reminding the world of the oppressiveness of the Soviet Union, something that was hoped to have been scaled back under Nikita Khrushchev. Brezhnev has put a halt to almost all de-Stalinization efforts championed by Khrushchev, including a strict adherence to total and complete collectivization of the economy. Like in the Stalin-era Soviet Union, these hardline communist policies have led to a significant economic decrease and stagnation. This is due to overall low efficiency rates within the government-employed people and overall depreciation in production. In addition, the new 1977 Constitution of the Soviet Union is very similar to that of the 1936 one written and authored by Joseph Stalin. It outlines the total and complete state control of the economy, and it also reserves Khrushchev's, and it also reverses Khrushchev's reforms that returning power, all political power within the Soviet Union to one party, the CPSU. This is an unprecedented move by Khrushchev, as one of the main reforms of Nikita Khrushchev was to create a two-party system. However, Brezhnev's greatest Stalin-like maneuver has to create an end to the toleration and openness that had been fostered under Nikita Khrushchev. He has actively sought out dissenters and activists and members of outlawed religions. This is in direct violation of the Helinski Accords and has led to more opposition to the Brezhnev Doctrine throughout Europe. There has, however, been one expression tolerated throughout the Soviet Union, and it has been that of anti-Semitism. Attacks on Jews and their institutions is rampant throughout the Union and has not been condemned in any way by the Brezhnev regime. In conclusion, folks, we realize that the unstable political reforms that you might see throughout the Soviet Union cannot truly be trusted. All it takes is one hardlining conservative communist leader to come to power and reverse all types of political, social, and economic reforms of the last one. It doesn't matter if you get a reasonable man like Nikita Khrushchev, because along might come someone like Leonid Brezhnev, who expands in an unprecedented way since Joseph Stalin the power and oppressiveness of the Soviet regime. There have been absolute and complete reactions by Western Europe and it has greatly damaged the relations domestically.